okay so in the last class um, we learned about what is an ideal gas uh, and uh, we discussed about boyle's law charles law next uh, using these two laws we have arrived with the characteristic gas uh, equation or ideal gas equation which is nothing but pv is equal to rt or pv is equal to mrt okay. and uh, next uh, uh, we learnt about avogadro's law and we have defined how uh, number of kg moles to be as mass by molecular mass uh, what is a mole okay one mole is 22.4 meter cube and also um, we have defined the universal gas constant to be as molecular mass multiplied by the characteristic gas constant and also we have arrived with the molecular mass uh, value also okay and uh, so in today's class we will uh, talk about uh, five process that is constant volume constant pressure uh, isothermal reversible adiabatic polytropic five process are there for all these five process okay uh, uh, we will uh, discuss the equations uh, what is a formula for heat transfer work done and uh, properties like uh, change in internal energy change in enthalpy uh, change in uh, entropy we will uh, uh, discuss this equation for all the five process in today's class right so first uh, uh, we will uh, talk about constant volume process this is for a, a closed system okay we are uh, uh, writing uh, we are learning these equations so that is a uh, uh, e transfer work done and other property equations for a closed system or also known as non flow process first we will talk about constant volume process also known as isochoric process if you see pv diagram okay the line is a vertical line because it's a constant volume so in a pv diagram the line will be vertical line so at state point 1 okay we are going to heat then uh, as a result the pressure will increase and uh, in if you see ts diagram the temperature also has increased from state point 1 to state point 2 whereas volume will remain constant okay next uh, we have written p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 how we got this equation using that uh, pv is equal to mrt okay from that equation we have arrived this equation how we got because pv by t is equal to mr so you know that pv is equal to mrt or pv by t is equal to m into r okay for any two states okay mass remains constant and r also remains constant okay that is at state point 1 mass is also constant okay and same as mass is same as at state point 2 and even characteristic gas constant is also remains same at state point 1 as well as at state point 2 right so constant multiplied by another constant is one more constant so pv by t is equal to constant we can take for any two states i can write p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 so p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 this we have arrived the equation using pv is equal to mrt okay for a constant volume process v1 is also equal to v2 Huh? So, if you just simplify the above equation, you are going to get P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2. Huh? So, this equation, simplified equations are required while doing numericals. Next, uh, change in internal energy is given by okay, CV dt. So, change in internal energy is represented by du, which is equal to CV stands for specific heat at constant volume multiplied by change in temperature so or i can write u2 minus u1 is equal to cv into t2 minus t1 okay kilojoules per kg here in all these equations that is for all the five process uh, we have uh, taken mass to be as 1 kg so the unit will be in per kg kilo okay so uh, suppose uh, if you know the mass you can you have to multiply by mass that means uh, so, you have to mcv t2 minus t1 will be the change in internal energy 
and the unit will be kilojoules. Okay, when it is per kg, mass is 1 kg in the considered maradaga. Okay, then the equation will be this. If you know mass, okay, then you should multiply by mass and the unit will be kilojoules. Understood? Next, uh, the change in enthalpy dH equal to Cp dt or H2 minus H1 is equal to Cp into T2 minus T1 kilojoules per kg. Okay, the change in enthalpy, change in internal energy equations remain same for all the five process. Huh? So, actually we have uh, already come across that H is equal to Cpt or dH will be Cp dt. Here Cp stands for specific heat at constant pressure and uh, dh represents change in enthalpy specific enthalpy dt represents change in temperature so h2 minus h1 will be cp into t2 minus t1 kilojoules per kg why it is per kg because we have not multiplied by mass and we have assumed that mass to be as 1 kg hmm? so if you know mass then you have to multiply by mass then the unit will be only kilojoules right next work done Work done is uh, okay. We have uh, we are going to consider only displacement work that is PDV work. Okay, for a constant volume change in volume. Okay, okay, you know work done is PDV. Okay, or DV will be zero. Change in volume is zero for a constant volume process. That is why work done is also zero. Okay, you have to remember this. Work done is zero for a constant volume process. Next uh, heat transfer. We have written the equation of uh, first law for a closer system undergoing a change of state change of state means what we have uh, it was initially at state point 1 we have heated the gas and it has uh, changed to state point 2 that is why it's a change of state equation you are applied here it is nothing but heat transfer is nothing but change in internal energy plus work done again uh, we have considered mass to be as 1 kg so delta q is equal to cv into t2 minus t1 plus work done is zero for a constant volume process work done is zero so delta q will be cv dt delta q is also equal to cv dt or cv into t2 minus t1 that is final temperature cv is stands for specific heat at constant volume multiplied by final temperature minus initial temperature next the change in entropy is given by okay you know uh, heat transfer reversibly divided by temperature represents a change in entropy okay so delta q is cv dt okay okay for delta q you can write cv dt cv we have taken outside the integration because the cv value remains same at state point 1 and state point so state point 2 that is why we have taken cv outside the integration specific heat at constant volume remains same whether it is at state point 1 or state point 2 next integration of dt by t okay integration of dx by x is log x so similarly integration of dt by t is ln t ln t from uh, limits will be 1 to 2 so ln t2 minus ln t1 i should have written but you know that log a minus log b is log a by b so it is ln t2 by ln uh, ln t2 by t1 uh, okay in the left hand side integration of ds is s from 1 to 2 it is s2 minus s1 represents a change in entropy will be cv ln t2 by t1 understood this is the unit will be kilojoules per kg kelvin kilojoules per kg kelvin if you know mass then the you have to multiply by mass okay then the unit will be kilojoules per kelvin arthaktidya understood huh? so if you know mass you have to multiply by mass that is the change in entropy will be m times cv ln t2 by t1 and the unit will be kilojoules per kelvin Okay, when you when you consider mass to be as 1 kg, it will be Cv ln T2 by T1, then it will be kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Okay, next. Next we will go to constant pressure process. 
also known as isobaric process okay so you can see the pv diagram and ts diagram so in a pv diagram the for a constant pressure process the line will be horizontal line uh, so it was at state point 1 okay after heating uh, it has gone to state point 2 and the temperature has increased from state point 1 to state point 2 so again p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 remains same for all the five process uh, that is constant volume constant pressure reversible adiabatic isothermal polytropic all the five process this equation will remain same that is p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 so for a constant pressure process you know at state point one pressure is same as at state point two pressure p1 is equal to p2 so when you when you put this in the equation number uh, above equation you are going to get v1 by t1 is equal to v2 by t2 okay next the change in internal energy is same du is equal to cv dt uh, or u2 minus u1 is equal to cv into t2 minus t1 kilojoules per kg as usual change in enthalpy again it is cp dt h2 minus h1 is equal to cp into t2 minus t1 kilojoules per kg uh, similar what we have explained for constant volume it also remains same next work done okay work done is a we have considered only displacement work that is pdv so when you you know that it's a constant pressure process you can take the pressure outside the integration so integration of dv is nothing but v uh, from 1 to 2 so it is nothing but p into v2 minus v1 p into v2 minus v1 represents work done for a constant pressure process right uh, next heat transfer delta q is again du plus work done du plus work done this is a equation of first law for a system undergoing a change of state next delta q is equal to you know du is what cv dt or cv into final temperature minus initial temperature t2 minus t1 plus work done is pressure into volume change in volume it is v2 minus v1 uh, okay so here uh, p into v2 minus v1 is there no we have uh, that is pv is equal to rt okay p into specific volume will be equal to r times t uh, so so for PV2, I can write R times T2 and PV1 to as R times T1. R is common. We have taken outside the uh, outside the uh, T2 minus T1, R. Okay, CV into T2 minus T1. This is a first term. We have written as it is. For PV2, P into V2 minus V1, we have written as R times T2 minus T1. Okay, so if you say this equation, T2 minus T1. You can take it outside because it's a common no on the two terms it is common t2 minus t1 you can take it outside it will become cv plus r into t2 minus t1 so you know that cp minus cv is equal to r the relation between specific heats and characteristic gas constant is cp specific heat at constant pressure minus cv specific heat at constant volume is equal to characteristic gas constant r cp minus cv is equal to r okay or cp is equal to cv plus r so cv plus r is nothing but cp into t2 minus t1 uh, okay that is nothing but cp dt uh, cp dt that is also equal to dh because dh is cp dt that is what cp dt is nothing but dh so heat transfer for a constant pressure is also equal to change in enthalpy okay. next the change in entropy is okay uh, ds will be delta q by 2 and we have integrated on both the sides okay it is left hand side s2 minus s1 okay integration of uh, ds is s from 1 to 2 s2 minus s1 is equal to 
see here delta q is cpdt for a constant volume process it was cvdt for a constant pressure process it is cpdt cp dt by t okay and again uh, integrate it will become ln t from 1 to 2 so it is ln t2 by t1 into cp represents change in entropy for a constant pressure process next for a constant temperature or a isothermal process there is a uh, third one constant temperature or isothermal process we have written a pv diagram ts diagram okay pv diagram okay we have written the uh, uh, constant temperature expansion process if you see ts diagram it's a the line is a horizontal line okay so for a constant temperature process in a ts diagram the line will be horizontal so t1 is also equal to t2 so if you just put this in the p equation p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 t1 t2 gets cancels so the equation will be p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 okay p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 or the uh, next the change in internal energy is given by cv dt okay so u2 minus u1 will be equal to cv into t2 minus t1 okay the change in temperature is zero why it is zero because t1 is also equal to t2 t1 is also equal to t2 so the change in internal energy is zero next the change in enthalpy is cp dt that is also zero because the change in temperature is zero that is why change in enthalpy is also zero so change in internal energy and change in enthalpy is zero for a constant temperature process next work done okay integration of pdv so you know that pv is equal to c or p is equal to c by v when you integrate this you are going to get p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 okay you have to remember this equation work done is p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 next heat transfer is nothing but change in internal energy plus work done because du is zero no for a constant temperature process du is zero that is why the heat transfer is also equal to work done so p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 see this v2 by v1 if you see this equation p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 what is v2 by v1 p1 by p2 understood see p1 v1 is also equal to p2 v2 so v2 by v1 is nothing but p1 by p2 so you can write for v2 by v1 to be as p1 by p2 that is another form of uh, equation so for a constant temperature process heat transfer is also equal to work done next the change in entropy okay uh, as usual ds will be delta q by t integrated on both the sides see uh, delta q what is delta q p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 okay that is what we have got since temperature is constant you can take it outside the integration so 1 by t integration of delta q from 1 to 2 that is nothing but p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 by t1 okay see here if you see this equation okay we are temperature is constant so you can take it outside the integration 1 by t integration of heat transfer from 1 to 2 is nothing but what p1 v1 ln of v2 by v1 that is what we have written here divided by uh, t or t1 i can write because t is equal to t1 is also equal to t2 because temperature remains constant okay pv by t what is pv by t you know pv is equal to rt pressure into specific volume will be r times t or pv by t is equal to r okay ln v2 by v1 ln v2 by v1 if you know mass then you can multiply by mass that will be m r ln v2 by v1 next we will go to the 
reversible adiabatic process also known as isentropic process okay so here i have written the expansion process in a pv diagram okay pressure has got decreased from p1 to p2 whereas volume has increased if you see the temperature entropy diagram okay the line will be vertical line because s1 is also equal to s2 reversible adiabatic process is also known as isentropic entropy will remain same or constant during the process so s1 is also equal to s2 that is why it will be a vertical line see for a reversible adiabatic process okay you should remember this equation pv to the power of gamma will be constant okay so pv to the power of gamma will be constant for any two states i can write p1 v1 to the power of gamma equals p2 v2 to the power of gamma equal to c same the ch change in internal energy as usual cv dt or cv into t2 minus t1 kilojoules per kg if you know mass then you have to multiply by mass the mcv t2 minus t1 the unit will be only kilojoules next a change in enthalpy cp dt h2 minus h1 cp into t2 minus t1 kilojoules per kg this you know okay work done i have written the equations directly because already we have uh, derived these equations in the heat and work module so only i have written the equations so you have to remember these equations so work done for a reversible adiabatic process is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by gamma minus 1 gamma minus 1 okay gamma represents adiabatic index it is nothing but the ratio of specific heat at constant pressure to specific heat at constant volume gamma is nothing but cp by cv or i can write pv is equal to mrt if you know mass then you can multiply by mass m into r times t1 minus t2 by gamma minus 1 because pv is equal to what m m into r into t okay and remember this whenever you find the term adiabatic it means that heat transfer is zero delta q will be zero okay and from first law you know delta q is nothing but du plus work done okay so uh, and you know delta q is zero uh, for a reversible adiabatic process heat transfer is zero so work done will be change in internal energy is nothing but work done is also equal to change in internal energy and the change in entropy is zero for a reversible adiabatic process because delta q is zero heat transfer is zero okay for a reversible adiabatic process delta q is zero then the change in entropy remains change in entropy remains constant or same so ds will be zero or s2 minus s1 will be zero or s2 will be equal to s1 next last process polytropic process see uh, in adiabatic process okay there was a gamma adiabatic index here we have replaced gamma by n small n p1 v1 to the power of n is equal to p2 v2 to the power of n will be constant also we have drawn the pv and ts diagram okay change in internal energy change in enthalpy equations remain same work done okay and uh, reversible adiabatic process replace gamma by n that's all same uh, otherwise the equations remain similar p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 hmm? in terms of temperature also we have written okay and uh, for heat transfer Uh, we have written the equations gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 into p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 okay this is the expression for heat transfer for a polytropic process okay and uh, you know p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus what is this okay if you see this is the work done so gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 v2 work done during polytropic process represents the heat transfer during the polytropic process and the change in entropy we have written uh, three equations okay that is the first equation represents 
change in entropy in terms of temperature and volume second equation represents uh, in term change in entropy in terms of pressure and volume and finally last equation uh, okay it is in terms of temperature and pressure okay you have to remember these equations okay next we will go to the numericals So 3 kg of air at 150 kilopascal pressure and 360 Kelvin temperature is compressed polytropically to pressure 750 kilopascal according to the law PV to the power of 1.2 is equal to constant. Subsequently the air is cooled to initial temperature at constant pressure. Okay, this is followed by expansion at constant temperature till the original pressure of 150 kilopascal is reached. Okay, they have told the write down the PV and TS diagram and uh, you have to determine the work done heat transfer and uh, entropy change for each process so in the more parameter uh, you have to find three parameters work done heat transfer and entropy change for all the three process okay so first uh, They have told that mass uh, mass they have given 3 kg mass is 3 kg and initial pressure initial temperature they have given that is what I have written here P1 T1 P1 is 150 kilopascal and T1 is 360 Kelvin temperature is compressed polytropically to pressure uh, 750 that is P2 pressure also they have given 750 kilopascal so the polytropic expansion follows the law PV to the power of 1.2 is equal to C see compression means okay process 1 to 2 if you see pv diagram okay the compression i have written i have drawn here it's a volume should decrease and pressure should increase okay correct huh? the volume will decrease the pressure will increase and uh, if you see ts diagram also okay this is the curve 1 to 2 represents polytropic compression process so temperature has increased the ts diagram temperature has increased Subsequently, the air is cooled to initial temperature at constant pressure. Okay, next process is 2 to 3 is a constant pressure cooling process. Okay, and you are going to cool till the initial temperature has been reached. So, in PV diagram, 2 to 3 is represents constant pressure cooling. Okay, here in TS diagram, we have to cool the air okay cool the air at constant pressure till original temperature Ili original temperature of the initial temperature that is state point one that's okay till initial temperature is reached and there two to three curve beko till it meets the line one one line horizontally when you draw the line from one okay you are going to draw the curve from two to three till it meets the line one okay next this is followed by expansion at constant temperature till the original pressure of 150 kilopascal is reached <coughs> okay next is a constant temperature process so if you see ts diagram 3 to 1 represents a constant temperature okay till original pressure is reached that is in you see pv diagram 3 to 1 represents constant temperature till original pressure means okay it should reach the state point one so process one to two two to three three to one together constitutes a cycle uh, so now let us try to and uh, obtain the heat transfer work done and entropy change in the problem they have given cp cv and as well as r sometimes for air uh, they may not give at that time you can assume these values for air you should know if air is a standard okay standard gas so you have to remember cp cv and r sometimes when they have not whenever they are not given in the problem first process process one to two okay is a polytropic compression alva so t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 the relation between temperature and pressure you should know these equations huh? The relation between temperature and pressure okay remember these uh, shortcut equations for uh, uh, doing the calculations the relation between temperature and pressure 
for a polytropic suppose if it was a adiabatic then you can replace n by gamma okay so illi t1 kotidare p2 by p1 p2 kotidare 750 p1 150 okay illi kilo pascal al kotidare bekadre into 10 power 3 numerator li denominator li into 10 power 3 akobodu ha uh, then both gets cancels okay here we have not put uh, we have uh, just simplified we have, we have got the uh, value 471 kelvin next work done okay it is nothing but uh, mr t1 minus t2 by n minus 1 okay so this you know work done for a polytropic process mass they have given no 3 kg mass to be as 3 kg kotidare problem alle 3 kg in kotidare r is they have given okay 0.287 kilo joules kilo joules al madidivi temperature t1 and t2 okay t1 the initial temperature they have given in the problem 360 t2 you have found out just now you have found out 471 okay and uh, n polytropic index 1.2 they have given pv to the power of 1.2 on the 1.2 is equal to c this has been given in the problem in the data simplify you are going to get minus 477.85 kJ heat transfer next is heat transfer is nothing but work done plus change in internal energy work done you have found change in internal energy is mcv t2 minus t1 okay mass you know so ile first work done already you have found no minus 477 and now bandide because why it is negative because it is a compression process please remember <coughs> the value is negative because the it's a compression okay expansion as a positive baruthe compression and the negative okay so heat transfer is nothing but work done plus du work done is minus 477 you have found out plus mass into cv into t2 minus t1 m they have given cv also you they have given t2 and t1 this you know okay, t2 is 471 t1 is 360 okay so, so e transfer is minus 238.76 kJ okay it is also a negative because it has been rejected by the system it has been rejected by the air that is why it is negative next entropy change i have written in terms of temp uh, temperature and pressure uh, we have uh, told you three equations in the three equations we have taken uh, uh, entropy change for temp in terms of temperature and pressure okay you know the equation just put the values in the equations okay mcp m stands for mass cp stands for specific heat at constant pressure 1.005 ln t2 by t1 this you know plus mr m into r this also has been given mass they have given r they have given ln p1 by p2 okay initial pressure after compression also they have given no 150 only p1 no p2 eradu kotidare problem alle ಓಕೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಮೈನಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂಟ್ರೋಪಿ ಅವ್ರು ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಿಲೋ ಜೋಲ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಕೆಲವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಿ ಇಂಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಇಂಟು ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ state point 3 is the final state point uh, so it is a uh, final volume minus initial volume and that v3 minus v2 hmm? now uh, actual equation alli p uh, p into v2 minus v1 and bardidivi final volume minus initial volume illi final volume v3 initial volume v2 for a process 2 to 3 uh, so pv is nothing but mr okay pv is nothing but mr t3 mrt pv is equal to mrt so mr into t3 minus t2 because how you got this you know pv is equal to mrt so p2 or p3 okay because p2 is also equal to p3 p3 v3 is nothing but mr t3 p2 v2 is nothing but mr t2 mr is common they have taken outside t3 minus t2 mass they have given 3 or also you they have given t3 minus t2 okay here t3 is also equal to what just see here in a ts diagram t3 is also equal to t1 understood 
T3 is also equal to T1. So 360 minus 471. Okay, minus value you are going to get. Next, heat transfer MCP T3 minus T2. Just substitute the values. You know all the values. Just substitute and get the answer. Minus 334 you are going to get. Next, entropy change. Okay, yeah. For a constant pressure process, it is okay. I told you know whenever you know mass, you have to multiply by mass. So here I have multiplied by mass m into Cp into ln okay final temperature by initial temperature. Here for a process two to three final temperature is T3, initial temperature is T2. So substitute and get the entropy change. Okay. So mass is 3, Cp is 1.005 kilojoules al maadi thivi, angagi kilojoules al answer barata. Okay, per Kelvin, yake ili kg illa because we have multiplied by mass. Process 3 to 1 is a constant temperature process. Okay, P3, V3, ln of V1 by V3 or MR, T3, PV is equal to MRT, MRT3, ln of Okay, in terms of pressure, it is P3 by P1. P3 by P1. So, 3 into 0.287. Uh, temperature is 360 ln. Final pressure by uh, P3 is uh, 750. P1 is 150. Just simplify, you are going to get. Next to uh, heat transfer. Okay, is also equal to work done. For a constant temperature process, I have told you. Okay, change in internal energy will be zero for a constant temperature. So Q is equal to W. So heat transfer is also equal to work done for a constant temperature because change in internal energy is zero. So same value. Uh, entropy change MR ln P3 by P1. MR ln okay, uh, P3 by P1. Initial pressure by final pressure. Initial pressure is 3. Final pressure is P1. Okay, mass you know R you know uh, P3 and P1 you know. Okay, substitute and get the value. Okay, how you got P3? Okay, just look at here. P3 is also equal to P2. P3 is also equal to P2. P2 you know. So P3 is also equal to P2 that is 750. Okay, uh, P1 you know. Substitute and get the values of change. Right? Next, we'll move on to MCQ. First one for a constant volume process, work done is zero. Okay, work done is zero. Uh, positive, negative, none of the above they have given. It is zero. Okay, because change in volume is zero, so work done is also zero for a constant volume. Right, the according to isothermal process, governing equation is. P equal to C, PV equal to C, P equal to C, none of the above. It is PV equal to C. Pressure into volume will be constant. For an adiabatic process, it is PV to the power of gamma equal to C. For a polytropic process, it is PV to the power of N will be equal to C. For a isothermal process, the governing equation is pressure into volume will be constant. So in today's class, we learnt about uh, how to evaluate the properties like change in internal energy, change in enthalpy, change in entropy as well as heat transfer, work done huh? for all the five process that is constant volume also known as isochoric, constant pressure also known as isobaric, isothermal also known as constant temperature, reversible adiabatic also known as isentropic process, finally polytropic process. Okay, For all these five process we have learned the how to uh, uh, write the equations for different parameters. Thank you.